Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Real quick before we get to the video, I could really use your help. YouTube tells me that you guys are only watching 50% of the videos, which means there's a lot of skipping around going on. I spent a lot of time working hard to make these videos as watchable as possible, so if you wouldn't mind letting the videos play out, I would really appreciate it. YouTube's algorithm would also love it. And the more the algorithm likes the videos, the better the videos will do. The better the videos do, the better we can do here on the channel by bringing you more mediocre content. Yeah, uh-huh, you know what it is. Black and yellow, anyone? Okay. All right, so today we're gonna work on getting the engine back into the frame. Uh, paint's had a little bit of time to cure, so it should be good enough for us. Usually, like, as soon as you can put a finger on it and the paint doesn't stick to you, I'm putting things back together. So we actually gave this a little time to set up. So we're gonna go ahead and get our mounts back into the frame, and we're gonna get the mounts back on the engine. Get the engine set back in place, hopefully without uh, scratching anything, and uh, get it all bolted in. We got some stuff to put back onto the engine, such as the ECM, some hoses, some wiring, that kind of stuff. We're going to get that back on the engine. Then we're going to get the old MD3060 bolted up to the back of the uh, engine, and uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to be figuring out if we're going to have to move the transfer case. I had some people that were like, are you going to be able to get the four-wheel drive to work this time? I could have had four-wheel drive last time, right? I have a drive shaft. It has the right yokes on either end. It's just too short i just gotta take it to the stretcher and get it stretched but literally like the week i was going to do that i actually measured for it the measurements written on it the week i was about to do that jc commented on my video was like hey i got a transmission for you and i was like i better not pay to have that modified if i'm going to have to modify it again so that's why we didn't have four wheel drive it wasn't like because i couldn't make it work i didn't want to do it twice you know um so that's that we're gonna have four wheel drive this time Seems like they just don't get our ways They try to control what we say Funny things will never go away It's who we are We drink iced tea out of jars We ride in trucks Put our time in at the farm Nothing wrong So we got the engine bolted in, transmission bolted up, everything went smooth. Um, this transmission is very large, as you can see. I'm really hoping I can find a smaller yoke because we do not need a, a yoke that size. Right now, there's eight and a quarter inches between the two. I don't think that I can get a shaft made eight and a quarter inches. I did order a new yoke for the transfer case, a 1410 yoke, so that's gonna be a little bit bigger. I do have about like five or six inches I can move the transfer case back if need be. I'd rather not because I don't really want to have another, have to have the drive shaft made again. One thing I did find out after the fact here, this transmission, this is an Allison MD3060P. They made different variations of the MD3060. This happens to be the P, which uh, stands for PTO. This transmission has dual PTO provisions, whatever you want to call it on the front of the bell housing here. This transmission is also four and a half inches longer 
than the standard 3060. If I had a standard 3060, we would have 12 and a half inches between the two yokes. The shaft that I had for the old transmission all the way short is less than 12 inches. So yeah, not quite sure where to go from here. But uh, in the meantime, while we figure that stuff out, we're gonna go ahead and get the engine kind of put back together. We can uh, put the ECM back on, run all the, the engine side wiring harnesses. I can get my breather back on, run some hoses. Ah, shoot, I think I put that belt on backwards. So I went ahead and ordered a new yoke for the input of the transfer case. This is a 1410. Honestly, not that much bigger than a, than a 1310, but it is a little bit larger, a little bit bigger caps, a little bit wider. Uh, they do make a 1480 that'll fit the MP205 transfer case, but I don't have that kind of money. So we're gonna put this one in there. So I'm pull that one off, just kind of test it, fit this one, make sure I got the right spline shaft and seal diameters the same and all that. And uh, then we're gonna mask this off and paint it so that it doesn't get rusty and uh, we'll get it installed. All right guys, so it's been a few days since we worked on the truck. We haven't really done much. Uh, I was gonna go to the driveline shop and talk to the driveline guy, see what his thoughts were on this, but it took some time to think about things. I uh, I may or may not have made a half asleep purchase on eBay that I was thankful that I could cancel. Um, so there's, there's gonna be some changes here. As much as I'd really love to run the 3060, and I'm not saying that I can't be done or that I'm giving up or admitting defeat. With a standard 3060, I think this could be done no problem. I did take some measurements from the cab mounts to the cab supports and I think it would fit. Um, this whole section here would be under the uh, the doghouse cover thing there so you could modify that a little bit. Uh, with the standard 3060 that's four and a half inches shorter it would definitely fit no problem but you know I contemplated moving the transfer case back but then I'm gonna have to have the rear drive shaft modified and then if we put the cab on and my measurements were wrong which has happened before I think I got two different tape measures around here and um, you know, we end up having to hack the floor apart 
If we could find a standard 3060 and trade this, we'd do that. But I contacted JC Smith and he says he has a 2200 HS. Um, so we might be going and getting that. Not 100% sure yet. But I'm doing some research. It seems like there's a lot more aftermarket support for the 2000 series. I'm no Allison expert. I really don't know what I'm talking about. But from what I think I found, the Allison 1000s and 2000s are basically the same transmission. I'm guessing that the 2000 is just more beefed up and some of the 2000s come with a park paw some don't because they're more of a medium duty truck transmission but they're a much smaller unit than this still trying to make up my mind what i want to do here because if we go with the 2200 we could get an aftermarket trans controller and i don't know much about those but i'm guessing they're easier if you can program them yourself i don't know um because that was the other issue with this is the tcm is has the transmission locked out of six gear and I know someone commented and said that it can be a real pain to get Allison to unlock six gear. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. I don't know if it shows up in video how, how huge this thing is. Because the engine, besides moving the engine forward an inch or whatever, it's sitting at the same height as it used to. And that sucker is up there. But anyways, huge shout out to JC Smith for uh, helping us out on this project. All right, guys, that's it for this video. You know, this is all part of the process. Not many people do a swap like this. I don't know many people that have a, a 3060 in a one ton. Uh, so it's a bit of a learning experience. We're kind of learning as we go. It's all part of the process, you know? Like I said, I'm not convinced that this couldn't be done. I'm just saying it's gonna be a lot easier for us if we uh, change things up a little bit. Definitely wish that I had known that there were two lengths of 3060 before going into this. Just gonna show you, do your research, you know, before you go out and buy something, spend money on something. Tear your truck apart, do a little research. Get out the old Google machine and uh, I mean, all these specs are available online. You can just punch in the model number and it tells you length, height, gear ratios, everything. Also, you may have noticed we're wearing a different t-shirt in this video. If you're looking for a way to uh, support this mediocre YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, shameless plug. Oh, look, I dropped something over here. So we did come out with a line of merch. Uh, hopefully I can figure out the whole merch shelf thing before this video goes out. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about this transmission and what we should do. Should we carry on, find a different 3060 swap to the 2200? Let us know. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that little bell. That way you get notified. And if you missed our live stream the other night, you didn't miss much. Um, that was a train wreck. Absolute train wreck. All right, guys, well, I hope you're having a good day. We'll see you in the next one. So, yeah, guys, check out the merch. Super fire design. I don't know if I'd call it super fire, but it's pretty hot. This is why we all came here tonight. You can feel it in the air. Yeah, something we all share. Grab a solo cup, get in the mood. Till you head back and taste the brew. This is our time.